learning about Daniel Siegel. And I was struck by how grateful and kind-hearted he was. I hope to live out the values that Daniel and I both learned in Mexico Phillip, doing acts of kindness and protecting society's most vulnerable. Thank you, Beth Villa, for teaching me to always be proud to be Jewish. Even amidst rampant anti-Semitism, from the Tree of Life massacre to swastika spray painted on college campuses, I am proud to be standing here today as a Jewish woman and as the granddaughter of Holocaust survivors because Beth Villa taught me how. To the graduates, don't ever be afraid to be who you are. Thank you, Beth DeFillo, for showing me the importance of being kind to others, giving back to our community, and using our people's pain to build empathy for others. For children from poor neighborhoods with no access to a decent education. For children growing up in multiple foster homes with no consistent caretaker. For people experiencing homelessness for months and years of their lives. For women who have suffered sexual violence with their rape kits rotting in police department basements. For asylum seekers awaiting a ruling on their status in prison detention centers on the border. For young black men getting stopped for traffic violations and ending up dead. For black and brown men sitting in jails for years awaiting trial because they cannot afford bail. For people incarcerated for decades for crimes they did not commit. For young people living through the trauma of violent school shootings. Bethlehem has taught me to make room in my heart for others and to create a world where all people can live in dignity. To the graduates, take care of your fellow human. Go out there and do some good and be grateful for every moment that you have on this earth. Thank you, Daniel Siegel, for modeling this for us. And thank you, Bethlehem, for showing us the way.